when you think about herbicides or fungicides, insecticides, a lot of times you're seeing that product work out in the field. With nitrogen stabilizers, it's a little tougher to see that. Um, a lot of that's occurring below ground. And so by pulling those soil samples, we're testing for what percent is in the ammonium form, what percent's in the nitrate form, and getting a, a better idea of how well those stabilizers are working for us in the soil. And so we had some pretty good results this year for both pre-plant and side dress uh, results. We saw an average of about 11% more nitrogen in that ammonium form versus the nitrate form. That ammonium form is the is the stable form of nitrogen. And that's versus untreated and that's versus some other competitor products out there. And then on the yield side of things, uh, we saw an average of about eight bushel per acre on the pre-plant applications and about five bushel per acre increase on those side dress. So we're seeing, seeing really nice returns on them. And, and if you remember back to what most of this year uh, was, we had really wet spring. We kind of dried off in the in the mid-summer. And so we've kind of had a mix of, of weather conditions, but those spring rains that we tend to get maybe a little heavier this past year are really driving uh, a lot of that nitrogen loss. And that, I think that's why we're seeing some really good returns here this year.